The world has been ravaged by an unpredictable virus. Life as we know it came to a halt. Scientists have been working around the clock without any success. Then the storms began. Weather around the world deteriorated. Hurricanes, flooding, tornadoes, fires. Civilization was falling apart. But the blizzards wreaked the most havoc. Ice storms wiped out cities and farmland and show no signs of slowing down. Climatologists are working tirelessly to find out what's causing these ice storms and how they can stop them. Okay. Oh. Are you sure these are the <sighs> same coordinates as last year? Huh? GPS says 90 degrees north, 135 west. Last year there was uh, 8,325 feet above sea level. It's about the same place. Yeah, well, it's 4,200 now. That's quite a change. Yeah. Well, I believe it's a wiggle room, but that's a sea change. supposed to do when that starts happening closer to camp you know the drill we grab everything get the snowmobiles get the safety call evac hey the samples are showing come take a look it says zero PSU zero percent salt water that can't be right Last year was 30 PSU, that was normal, but this is an enormous change. I've never seen anything quite like it. Okay, how is that much fresh water intermixing with salt water so quickly? The fresh water coming off glaciers might be saturating the Arctic Ocean. I mean, maybe it has something to do with those hikers that... What? Yeah, remember? They set all those massive fires by... The Mackenzie River, if, if all those trees burned down, then there were tributaries that were made, and, and it would be more fresh water running off into the Arctic Ocean. Well, it's possible. It's a possibility, but the, the numbers are just too, too big, too staggeringly big. Okay, here's what we know. Fresh water is less stable than salt water, right? Yeah. And along with the influx and glacier melt, the fresh water from the new tributaries could be sending an unprecedented amount of fresh water into the ocean. Right. Reggie, a, a massive polar vortex could form. I mean, we, we could see flooding of biblical levels and in worst case scenarios, another ice age. Mm. You're talking about the, uh, oh, the younger dryers, huh? The what? They don't teach that to you kids anymore in school? Okay, old timer, just tell me. Wow, I'm so nice to you too. <laughs> the younger dryers, okay? 13,000 years ago, for 1,200 years, there was a mini ice age, okay? The glaciers were saturating the Atlantic Ocean. It wasn't man-made, of course, but this time I'm afraid we are the culprits. What are you saying? That this is causing all the ice storms? I'm 
saying that we're entering a new ice age. Chemical tube with a squirt of honey and black coffee for Laura. I forgot to mention the honey. You think I would forget your tea order? <sighs> Got the news feed up? Mm. Yeah, they're still just talking about the ice. Honestly, it's nice to have the focus shift away from the virus for a minute. To be fair, these places have never seen snow, let alone full blown ice storms. I know. But there's got to be more to it than just the polar vortex. You know, thanks to climate change, all that rapid glacier melt could be wreaking havoc on the ecosystem and causing this weather. What? I took some climate and weather courses on route to my PhD. Like diseases, weather patterns can change in an instant. The storms have covered all of the southern United States and Mexico in nearly a foot of ice. And Central America is seeing our fair share of ice storms as well. Reggie, come in. This is Lauren, over. Yes? You want some coffee? Not now. Reggie, Joe, this is not funny anymore. Over. What is this cure waiting on? It works, it's safe, we've run multiple studies. Hey, I was the guinea pig and it worked perfectly. What more do we need to do to get this thing out there? You know the FDA. There are a bunch of bureaucrats who would rather wait until every little thing is locked than go with the public right away. There are thousands dead already. We need this cure approved yesterday. I have half a mind to walk right into their offices. I mean, you are going to the US today. You could just do that. Oh no, that was today? I need to call my sister. Thousands of sea creatures are now washing ashore all over the world. There seems to be no physical injuries or any sign of trauma to any of these animals, but experts are investigating each incident. Scientists believe this is climate related only. We will keep you updated as we I just received some data from an old friend stationed at the North Pole. Check your inbox. Jill, I especially need you to take a look at this. I think we can use your weather expertise to verify the conclusion my friend is making and what that means for protecting our vaccine. Zero PSU? 4,200 meters above sea level? This is impossible. I've been trying to contact my friend to confirm that this was not a mistake, but he's not responding. We talk occasionally, but I don't usually get data like this from him. Noah should have a weather simulator that I used when I was a student. We should plug this into that and find out what it means. Good, we're good. Come on. Some scientists are calling this an extinction level event. We'll have our science panel in the studio when we return. Jill, you're the weather expert here. He's the closest we've got. You mind getting us up to speed? Yeah, of course. Um, you know, just give me a second. What are we looking at here? Let me guess, your flight's delayed too? I think that's one of the seven signs of the apocalypse, am I right? Uh, yeah, no, um, I'm sorry. I'm actually not gonna be able to make it home. Jill, you promised. 
You were just barely able to get one of the last socially distanced flights here for the holidays. <sighs> something really big has come up. We may actually be onto something here. You know, this was a really important week for Mike. He just got engaged. You haven't even met Andrea yet. Family is more important now than ever. Yeah, I know, which is why I can't leave. My colleagues and I are so close to a major breakthrough in the biggest health crisis in modern history. And then we have these crazy ice storms that don't seem to be going anywhere. And the best way I know how to take care of my family is to make sure this cure is successful. I understand. Do you want me to say anything to Mike when I pick up him and Andrea? Just that I love him. And I hope I can see you guys soon. I love you. Stay safe. Love you. This is us. Let me help you with that. Thank you. Uh, folks, this is your captain speaking. There might be another delay in our departure, but we're going to see what we can do to get us up in the air as quickly as possible. So make yourself comfortable, and I will keep everyone updated once there is more information. Just Thank when I thought we couldn't get delayed any longer. I think it's a sign that we should just cancel the whole engagement. Looks like you're not getting off that easy. Okay, folks, we have clearance for takeoff. Our flight attendants will now walk down the aisle to make sure your seats are in the upright position and tray tables are put away. Please stow away all of your small electronic devices and place your phones on airplane mode. Once we reach an altitude of 10,000 feet, you'll be instructed to turn them on if you wish to do so. I'm going to get the Wi-Fi, so... You need to check anything? Just let me know. You know you can just download music onto your phone, right? You don't have to stream everything. But how am I going to know what I want to listen to on any given flight? Music majors, ugh. Major seismic activity at both the North and South Poles? At the same time. That doesn't make any sense. There's not even a major fault line by either pole. What could cause seismic activity of that kind that registers on the Richter scale? Glaciers. They're breaking apart. What does that mean? It means that Reggie was right. If the weather is going to get worse, we need to start to figure out an action plan to protect this cure. Lauren. Come in, Lauren. Reggie, I can hear you, over. My research partner is dead. What happened? The glacier uh, completely fell apart. Um, felt like an earthquake or something. The station survived somehow, and um, I tried calling a local emergency line, but couldn't get through. Uh, did you get the data we sent? We did. Is it true? What does it mean? Are we in trouble? Fires were just what was needed to create a tipping point that's wreaking havoc on the ecosystem and our climate, okay? The glacier melt was only part of it. But thanks to the fires, we may see something on a massive scale and soon. That would actually make the storms make sense. Salt water can't freeze, and that consistency is what prevents a polar vortex from causing another ice age. But you replace that with massive amounts of fresh water? That would explain the sea creature die-offs. They wouldn't be able to handle the freshwater influx, not at that level. Okay. Let's just say all that data is correct. What happens next? This. The storm gets worse. It covers pretty much everything in ice. Temperatures plummet to record lows worldwide. And... It stops. Wait. What is that? If my prediction is correct, that is the single worst polar vortex storm system imaginable. Temperature starting at minus 50 Celsius and only get colder from there. An ice storm will circle the globe, freezing everything that isn't insulated in. Everyone on the outside will die. What, what, what is this? Here. 
It's a wall of ice. The first storm was basically just a foreshock. The second... It's coming after the first, maybe two hours later. It looks like it's gonna be a hundred degrees colder than the first wave. It's going to destroy everything in its path. Infrastructure, survivors from the first wave. At these temperatures, it won't dissipate like the first. Look, I know it doesn't make sense, but I'll verify every decimal. It's all accurate. There's an ice storm heading your way, and it looks bad. Now, it might already be on its way over to Greenland. You guys need to start thinking about protecting that cure. If humanity's gonna have any chance of a future, then the cure must remain intact, or else any survivors of these ice storms will just die from the disease. All right? So protect it. By my estimates, you'll have about 24 hours to evacuate. Did you get this data over to Washington? I had to restore power to my computer and secure network first. As of right now, I'm protected in the eye of the storm, so to speak, so... I'm glad to hear you're still safe, Reggie. You just worry about getting yourself back here safe. Thanks, Lon. I'm calling a rescue chopper and getting out of here ASAP. Okay. Good luck. Over and out. Over and out. What do we do with the cure? There's a safe zone. What? A, a safe zone. Just shy of the equator. There's roughly 100 miles either way of the equator, all the way around, that the polar vortex can't reach due to the northern and southern rotation of the Coriolis effect. Rerun the scene. Account for fluctuations or margins of error in the program itself. No, I know this program. It hasn't been wrong before. It won't be wrong now. We need to get people heading that way now. We can't have the entire population of the world migrate to such a small area during a pandemic. We have the cure right here! But it has not been approved. We don't even know if it will work on a massive scale. It works. We know it works. We have run every test. We've done everything right. We know this will work. If we don't act now, humanity will die. Contact the government, give them the data, and, and convince them to start evacuations. Escaping is just half the problem. If we concentrate those survivors at the equator without a cure, it's only a matter of time before the virus eradicates the entire population. We have just 24 hours. Less for people closest to the poles. I'm going home. What? No, wait, no, you can't just give up! I've not seen my wife in months. I'm getting on the first plane back to her before they cancel them all. And then she and I will decide what to do with the time we have left. And just what are we supposed to do? I don't know. Play chess, watch a movie, screw. Whatever you want, really. I just won't be a part of it. I wish you the best of luck, whatever it is you decide to do. And for what it's worth, you guys were the best team I ever had the pleasure to work with. Things get bad. They're already bad. And for when they get worse. And they will. Jill. The U.S. government is now leading an effort to mobilize search and rescue teams to evacuate people from the path of the storm. Okay, good. At least the government's on the same page. Get packing. Services. Yeah, this is Reggie Blanc. I'm at 90 degrees north, 130 west. I need evac now. Over. Aries. Anyone? Over. Shouldn't be. Not for another hour. What's going on? I think it's just a precaution. Flight attendants, please be seated.
Jill. Jill, everything okay? I'm fine. You can come in. Too? No. No family. Not even a dog. I wouldn't worry about him. He's gonna be all right. Yeah. Looks like it's just you and me, pal. What do we do now? Ecuador. Ecuador? Why Ecuador? in the safe zone. Plus, there's an American embassy in Quito. We can meet up with scientists and start producing the cure before it's too late. I like the sound of that. But we're gonna need a ton of good karma to make it there. Even if we're going 75 miles an hour, it's a 30-hour drive, not to mention how shitty the roads were before the ice. I know where we can start. spend time with his wife. Yeah, always had his priorities, huh? <laughs> yeah, so it's just uh, me and Oscar now. I'm Jill. We are headed with the cure down to the American Embassy in Ecuador. Anything I can do? Well, if you've got something strong to drink, I suggest starting there. <laughs> I got my own standby. Irish whiskey, the best disinfectant money can buy. You know, you want to get rid of something, drink that. <laughs> um, well, we're finding a route down to Quito but there's a chance that the storms might block access to the poles, making GPS inaccessible. You could help us out a little bit if you... Uh... If, if I could get my computer back up, I could... Uh, I can lock on to your phone signal. I'll keep an eye on you, on you guys, okay? Make sure you're on um, the right path, at least until the ice wall hits the poles, and I'll keep you posted on, on where the storm is. Perfect, Reggie. You're welcome. And, and trust me, I'll have that drink the second I find the bottle, okay? <laughs> Cheers, mate. Cheers. Over and out. Over and out, Joe. Thank you. Then we're heading south, just like the emergency service said. Don't wait. You need to get to Ecuador now. Ecuador? What? Why? The wall of ice is going to completely freeze the planet in 24 hours, except for 100 miles around the equator. There's a massive ice storm ahead of it, so you need to go. I need to wait for Mike. No, Sarah, listen to me. We are driving to the American Embassy in Quito. You need to meet us there in less than 24 hours. It's your only chance to be safe from the storm. I can't leave Mike behind. They should be landing any minute now. Okay, uh, do you know where his plane is? There hasn't been an update. All right, pick him up. Then hurry. I love you. Love you too. Hey, Mike, I'm almost there. Sarah, the plane's going down. What? We can't hear the engines. I think we're losing altitude. Is there any shrapnel in the fuselage? What? Did anything fly from the engine and puncture the fuselage? Um, maybe. I don't know. If there's any shrapnel on the side of the plane, you may be losing pressure, which means you'll most likely crash. I don't know. Um, but, but there's ice on the wing and on the engine. 
Okay, then your plane probably just lost some power in steering, which is bad, but hopefully your pilot still has enough control to keep the plane level. How far are you from the exit row? Um, Sarah, Sarah, we're not jumping out of the plane. Mike, I was trained on how to survive crashes while I was in the Navy. I know what I'm talking about. Okay. How far are you from the exit row? Um, maybe like five or six rows. Okay, which is it, five or six? Five. Five, we're five rows away. Okay, good. You'll need to remember that in case there's smoke after the crash and you can't see the exit signs. Are you in the middle, aisle, or window seat? Um, we are in we're in the middle, but there's no one in the other. Like this plane's really empty. Good. Now ping me your GPS location and I'll come find you and I will get you out of there as fast as I can. To do this, please place your feet flat on the floor. Got it. I'm on my way. Under your leg and grasp your helmet. Thank you, Sarah. I love you. I love you, too. do we have? The longer we sit here and talk about how we're gonna die, the more likely we are. Yeah. That's about to turn into some ice planet hot. Bracken Cave, about an hour from here. I'm sure police and fire are already there. Well, does he have find my phone turned on? You could at least find out where he is. He doesn't have his phone on, period. He just... He better be okay. He will be. Just get there. I love you. I love you, too. All right, Mike. I'm coming for you. We have to get out of here. Okay. I think uh, uh I think my hand's broken. Oh, uh, uh. <sighs> my sister said we need to go. So. Let Ooh, uh, uh, uh. an emergency kit somewhere. I have to stop this bleeding. Uh, 
Better? A little. Don't worry, I'll get us out of here. Help is on the way. Try not to move, okay? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I thought you said the others left. That was a while ago. The ice must have blocked. <laughs> Frozen over the exit. Andrea, this really hurts. Breathe well. You may have some internal bleeding. This will help prevent you from going into shock. Keep you nice and warm. For your hand, I'm just gonna have to wrap it for now. Try not to move it, okay? I think I'll be able to play piano again. Let's worry about getting out of here first. And then... Get you back to playing the piano for me. Okay. I'm looking so far. We have to pick up the base. The roads are iced over. If we crash and the vial containing the cure gets damaged or broken, we're done for. Doesn't mean anything. I'm freezing. No service. Looks like we can't call for help. There has to be something in here we can use to get through the ice. Be done. Can't get a read on where we are. Reggie? Reggie, do you copy? Over. Oh, copy. What is it, Jill? Over. Are you able to track the storm? I am. It's about halfway through Alaska and the territories, and it's coming right toward you. It's in Canada now, so it's moving your way. We're starting to lose GPS already. Do you uh, have a lock on us yet? About. With the power down, I've had to resort to using a trick from my old hacker days. So you lock into our cell location and using its motion sensors to track where we're at? Yeah, yeah, exactly. How'd you know that? That one's from like hacking. Nothing major. Uh, but yeah, you should know where we're at now. At about three miles, there should be a fork in the road, okay? Now you take a right, and that should get you back on the track, okay? You got me? Three miles, take a right. Copy that. Uh, Reggie? 
What if I can't turn right? You have to go right. Okay? Left takes you up a mountain without an easy exit. You have to go to the top, and then work your way down to the side. I'd really advise against it. Go right. We have to go left. There's no other choice. Sorry, Reggie. We have to go left. Over. My only advice then would be to take as fast as you can to make up time. Over. Roger that. Over and out. I feel like we're grave robbing. I know. It's weird. <laughs> this is survival. Come on. <sighs> this is perfect. <coughs> or internal bleeding. <coughs> but if I had to guess, I'd say, uh, you'll be serenading us in just a few weeks. if I wanted to go see a concert, and I thought <coughs> she meant to bend or a DJ set. Didn't know she meant a piano recital. Hey, it's standing room only. You're lucky you got it. <laughs> you played Chopin Nocturne, Opus 9, number two. One of my favorites. You know, it's one of mine. Andrea, I... Let's... Let's get out of here. I'm coming for you! I'm almost there! Get out! 
Andrea! Andrea! Ah. Oh. It's so nice to finally meet you. You too. We have to get out of here. Okay. Well, we need to hurry anyways. I'll explain everything in the car. Almost back on schedule. We were doing pretty good time. Help me look for anything that might be ice. We can't afford to spin out up here. Oh no. Jill. It's in Seattle now. You need to move faster. If you want to beat that wall of ice, we have to get you in Tribunga in less than four hours to keep pace. I'll try, but I, I don't want to push it. We can't afford to have an accident up here. Oscar? Oscar! Hey, hey, hey! Hey, Oscar, wake up! Oscar! Open your eyes! Hold. Freeze to death. Jill, the, the, the cure, the cure, the cure, the cure. Dead. Come on, when do you guys move? Move! Oh, thank God. Thank God. My truck! Okay. Here. Oh, 
Let's get you inside, okay? Come on. It's too cold out here. No, say a syndicate. Okay, okay, okay. Don't come any closer. We don't have anything of value. We're infected. Look, we were just in an accident. My friend's really hurt. Try the hospital a few miles down the road, but you can't stay here. Look, we're from the HHS lab. We have a cure for the virus. We have to get to Ecuador immediately, or else everyone who survives the evacuations is going to be dead in a matter of months. How do I know you're telling the truth? I got it, I got it, I got it. Here. We have the cure, sir. Or you can't come in the house. You can bring your friend around to the workshop. I'll go get the first aid kit. Thank you. Okay, let's go. Okay, take him right over to the table. Can you hop up? Hop on up. Right, where are you cut, son? Shouldn't be too much trouble. Why don't you lie down right here for me, all right? My wife was a vet by trade, and I used to assist her from time to time. Primarily, but we moved down here years ago when the area was in need of a livestock vet. It was a match made in heaven. She could fix up any of my horses, and she always gave me a pretty good discount. It's one more, son. Good, good, good. All done. Now take it easy for a minute, or they'll tear. I don't do second stitches for free. No, 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 son, son, you want to take it easy for a minute. Last thing you need is an infection. You look like you could use a cup of coffee. No, we don't have time, sir. There's always time for a cup of joe. Not going to make it to the equator without being caffeinated. Why haven't you evacuated south yet? My wife. She's sick. Can't move her. She's pretty far gone. Hard to breathe anymore. She'd be on a ventilator if she could, but, well. How do you know you're not sick? Well, I keep my distance, wear masks, wash my hands. I only see her once a night while she's sleeping. Read to her from her favorite books. Don't know if she can hear me. But if you stay, then... If we stay, we'll be together. Only you've been married as long as we have. I hope your wife's comfortable. Comfortable as one can be, considering. Um, look, I hate to bother you again, but you have any tools I can borrow? Friends, what are you looking to fix? Ham radio? It got damaged in the crash, and we need it working before we can leave. Should have everything you need over on this workbench if you want to take a look. Yeah, can I? Mm. So we have to get to Ecuador in less than a day. That's right. Any hospitals coming up? Not that I can see. Wouldn't they have taken any medications with them on the evacuation? Mm, no. If this was a fast evac, they would have a lot of meds stockpiled. There's a chance we'll find whatever they couldn't take with them at a larger hospital. Mike! Mike, how do you feel? 
Reggie to Jill. This is Reggie to Jill. Can you hear me? Over. Why do you need his radio working? Well, GPS isn't working because the poles are completely out of whack. But I got a contact who has a fix on us. Can you, uh, hand me the leads? or heavy allergies that you're aware of? Uh, no, no, I don't think so. He must have had a concussion. What do we do? We just have to wait it out. I think it's over. Pull up his shirt. I need to check his stitches. Oh, it's infected. I had to pull them out immediately, clean it out, and try it again. Well, then tell me what I can do to help. Um... Do you have any kind of disinfectant, um, of nail polish remover, mouthwash? Mm. Yeah, yeah, I have some things. Okay. Oh, shoot. Come on, come on. I know it's in here somewhere. Oh. Yes. That'll do. to be that person, but a morgue seems like the place you would go when it's too late. Morgues are medical facilities. They still have some amount of medicines in hand to treat people. It's usually not much, but there's a chance. And what if there aren't any? It's the best shot we've got. Lead the way. Sweet. <clears throat> <laughs> Must be broken windows or something. Just be careful what you touch. Where do you think they keep the medications? In the bag. Let's go. Okay. Let's give this a shot. Reggie, do you copy? Over. Reggie, come in, Reggie. Over. Joe, what happened to you guys? We hit a patch of ice and crashed, but we're okay. For the most part. Everything okay over there? I have some bad news. What is it? There's been a huge pressure swing here. The second ice wall is going to be starting earlier. But it's not supposed to hit the poles for another 15 hours. And it's not supposed to reach us for at least another 13. Look, by my estimate, uh, the second ice wall will start, start here in about two hours. Reach you in 11, which gives you nine hours to beat the first ice wall. Got it? Reggie, I, I don't know. Sorry to interrupt. He's up. I think he's going to recover. Stitches look good. Reggie, we're hitting the road. Over and out. Good luck. Over and out. Thank you, Joe. What I meant. 
this. Don't you ever scare me like that again. Don't count on it. Robert, we, uh, need a car. You know of anyone who might have left one behind? I can say as I do. Although, I might know of a car you can use. Hmm. Spare gallons of gas and chains in the back. It's all yours. We have the cure. Enough for your wife. You can come with us. No, it's way too late for us. We'd only slow you down. And besides, this storm's gonna take us out before too long anyway. But if you can get the cure to everyone, you can save the world. Now, I think that's worth my try. And some alone time. Get your whiskey. Why don't you hang on to that? Call us even? Cheers. I'll get the door for you. We'll be in them soon enough if I don't find some medicine. But actually, they're insulated, so it wouldn't be the worst place for us. Okay, should be somewhere in here. Like, hold on to this. The wind's getting stronger. That's not the wind. This is the first ice storm Jill warned us about. Do you copy? Over. Copy. What do you need? Over. How much time do we have and where should we be going? We're stuck behind a wall of ice. Well, the storm is heading into Mexico now. And you guys should be entering into northern Ecuador at about, uh, within the hour. You have just over seven hours before the first ice wall hits. And... Nine before the second one does, so... As for what direction, stick to the coast. It's a shame you can't drive over the ocean. But that car sink, yeah. Thank you again, Reggie, for everything. Uh, it was, uh...
have to keep going. But we're stuck. And our only path to Ecuador is completely blocked. Wait. Is it? Is that the ocean? You know, Reggie may have been onto something. With the roads just getting harder and harder to drive on, and GPS not functioning whatsoever. You're not actually suggesting we drive over the ocean, are you? Why not? It should be frozen solid. At least by the shore where it's shallowest. We could just follow the coast. We don't know how far down frozen it is. We should be all right, as long as we stay within 30 to 50 feet from the shore. Okay. Creek, I don't like. We're dropping this and heading straight for the shore. Mike, can you hear me? Yes. Andrea. What happened? Mike. She got up and closed my drawer and went. <clears throat> she. What do you mean? Yeah. Wait. Mike, can you get out? No. I'm stuck. There has to be some kind of emergency switch on these things so people don't get stuck. Frozen from the outside, Sarah. We're stuck. Do you have anything on you that can help us get out? I don't think so. Can you still smoke? Oh, I gave that up. I really regret it right now. Wait a second. I have an idea. Try it now. Way to go, little bro. <sighs> Mike. Oh, Mike. Look, I hate to say this, but we gotta go. Look, if we don't leave now, she gave her life for nothing. How are we doing on time? A more direct path would be faster. Gosh, we're pretty close to being back on schedule. Storm will have hit Costa Rica by now. That's where I went to grad school. Oh, it's like it didn't even happen. You okay? Yeah. Just getting over minor surgery. 
We should try picking up speed. Try to do our best to get as much ahead as possible. I don't know, Jill. Is this pure ice we're on? The ice cracks, or if we sink, that's it. Uh, not just for us, but for all of humanity. And we are still a ways away from it, Lenore. That's why we should go faster. We can regain some control and make up for lost time. Looks like there's a hospital coming up. Not too far from us now. You think they'll actually have any medications? The bigger the hospital, the better. No. No, 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 this can't be happening! Did you run out of gas? No, the ice wall must have damaged something! Damn it! Damn it! Ugh! Can we fix it? Not in this weather. How far away is that hospital? Much further. We're about 20 miles in from where the truck went down. Jill, you're shaking. Jill, you sure? Absolutely. I'm really sorry for yelling at you back there. It wasn't your fault. Yes, it was. Jill, you were right. We had to make up time. You were right, Jill. Stop it. Because of my decision, we may have killed an entire race. It's entirely my fault. You are the smartest person I know. The world needs you more than anybody else living in it no, right now. No, that is the problem, Oscar. I have been so focused on my work and finding out what's been going on that I have abandoned what's really important. My friends, my, my family. Well, you and your family will recruit back in Ecuador. They'll be so happy to see you. Nothing else will matter. There's no way I could have gone this far without you. Okay, come on. Let's go save the world. Go find some medications.
Okay, maybe Mike can help me with this. Mike! What are you doing? You should be resting. I can rest when we're in Ecuador. What do you need me to do? Help me break into this room. What do we do now? Maybe we can crawl in through the air ducts. Go in from above? Okay, I'm getting in through the air ducts. Not like this. Oh, there has to be something. Someone, maybe an emergency radio, a phone. Someone we could contact. There has to be something here. Someone that can help us. Sarah, help me grab this chair. Yes. <sighs> you okay? Okay, you got it. You ready? What are you, what are you doing? Do you hear that? Oh. Helicopter. It's a helicopter! It's a helicopter! Come on! Come on! <sighs> Five hours away from the second ice wall to hit us, even though the first ice will probably hit Panama City by now. Pretty close to Quito. We have to keep heading south, which is uh, that direction. Let's do this. the guinea pig for this cure, okay? You couldn't get me sick if you tried. I can't keep going on. I'm done. I'm done, Jill. Oscar, I need you. Don't waste it on me. You're taking it away from the children. I can't live without on my conscience. I can still use what's left over to make more. Honestly, the smartest person I've ever met. I'm gonna put on yours. Come on, we gotta get moving. You ready? Here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs>
Jill. You okay? Yeah. Here, take Take it. You got it. Hey, you're gonna make it. You really think we can make it? You okay? Yeah. Go check it out. Okay. You okay? Yeah. I just gotta rest. Slippery, okay. but it's clear. Okay. Toss me the back so you can climb carefully. <sighs> you got it. I'm gonna toss you this one. That was too close.
Hola, buenos días. Por favor, siéntate aquí. Te voy a tomar la presión. Préstame tu brazo, por favor. Y te doy aquí. Gracias. Doctor. Hi. Okay, so this is just gonna sting a little bit. Thank you. Ready? Gracias. Okay. Now just be sure to stay at least six feet away from others for the next week or so. This cure is not instant. Okay? There you go. Gracias. Oscar, when is the next supply replenishment coming in? We should have more within the hour. Nothing's impossible. Not for us. Not for this family. Come on, let's get you guys taken care of. <laughs> As countries around the world search for survivors from the destruction caused by the ice walls, hope in the form of a vaccine will ensure the survival of the human race. In other news, the government of Ecuador has taken the lead in the Green Earth Initiative to ensure that we do not make the same mistakes again. <laughs> 